Are you between the ages of 1 and 99 and are looking to achieve more in-game currency within MLB The Show and have an allergy to grass? Well, boy, do I have a video for you. Today, we're talking about the best way to earn XP and, you know, you're going to get the bosses and stubs very fast in MLB 22. Yes, uh, we, we got both of them last night. Do I regret it? Yes, surely it took off at least a few years of my life there, but we got it done and we got the maximum profit for it, so I will gladly sit home and watch the new episodes of Better Call Saul that I need to catch up on and relax. So, the best ways to earn XP right now, leave a like down below, subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. There's so much to talk about, so I don't want to waste too much time here. So, obviously, there's a bunch of tasks but not all are created equal, unfortunately. There is certainly better stuff that you can do, and I quickly want to lead off talking about March to October again. This is something that I highly recommend if you preload, which again, we talked about in a previous video. I don't want to talk about this each and every time, so I'm going to mention it right here. We finished a Blue Jays. We earned about a 100,000 XP from just doing this. It took about an hour and a half to get to the All-Star break before the content drop on Friday, and then it probably took two and a half to three hours so about five five and a half total for a hundred thousand xp which, which is really good and you can load up as many of these as you want so you can have a bunch loaded up to that all-star break you get seventeen thousand five hundred xp pretty much right away from playing one moment challenge and if you did that 10 times that's 175,000 so think about something like that for the next program but going forward let's talk about other great methods to earn XP ball player we're updating that there's a few new things that I recommend and a few QOL fixes for example there is times where after you finish a season you run into a problem where you are not able to play spring training if that happens to you if you cannot progress just start a new road to the show that's just something that I wanted to mention also you should be downloading a specific roster to make this go so much faster we have a lot of new updates and new tips that you guys are going to want to make sure and pay attention to here go to the vault go to roster vault it should be sort by most downloaded and you're gonna look for this right here Casnella, you're going to want to force yourself to get drafted to the Phillies I know for most people, that's a death sentence. It's like, good lord, man. Uh, what do you mean? You, you want me to be on a 500 team for the rest of my career? That doesn't sound too fun. But you are going to want to be drafted by Philadelphia because that team is stacked and everybody else is one overall Joe Randoms. So do that. Get to Road to the Show. Again, to make sure and download the blank canvas ballpark that is in the stadium vault as well. Just look at my online ID. Go to the legend. You will find it right there. Blank canvas. Equip it for every American League and National League park. Very important. You know, mile high, 270 feet to the poles. You, you'd have to try not to hit home runs there. Again, the difficulty I recommend is going to be on veteran. I, f I think beginner's too slow. I think beginner difficulty might be more difficult than veteran in the grand scheme of things, uh, but you also earn more XP on veteran difficulty as well. So just keep that in mind there. And then your archetype. Now, once you max something out for one of your ball players, once you max out your power or your contact archetype, you have to move on to the next one. So, for example, I'm now creating a catcher, which is great because I wanted to transition from a shortstop over to catcher as my team needs vary in my Diamond Dynasty lineup. So, I moved over to this Diamond Contact, and again, you only want to go as far as this 1,000 right here. There's nothing else worth it going on any further, and all you have to do, you do not have to play fielding at all just do the hitting stuff extra base hits hits turn you know any base running fielding opportunities turn them off so make sure and do that once you finish with one archetype get the diamond to 100 points move on to the power or the fielding and just keep it moving there's so much xp in there and you can still earn those even after you hit the gameplay xp cap which as you can see here is or maybe, in fact, you don't see it right there, but the number is 60,000. That's how much in-game XP you can earn on any given day. It'll tell you when you can start earning it again, but those rewards, those gates in March to October, those missions that you complete in the program or in your ball player, those you can still get XP for. Now, things that you definitely want to do here, the conquest, you earn 30,000 
XP from just doing the conquest. You only have to play five games, but keep this in mind. There is a few turn-based goals. Capturing the D-backs of the Blue Jay Stronghold on or before the second turn. That's actually quite easy, a simple way to do it. You can just go up to the Blue Jays right here, play the game on Veteran. And then after you finish that game off, try and trudge through back this way uh, so you can have these fans go... Oh, of course, they nick my pipeline right there. Damn you, Blue Jays! Canadians! Um, you're gonna want to work back here and uh, you know get a few more hexagons reimburse and Now you can continue this pipeline in an ideal world the Blue Jays aren't gonna cut me off Anyway, you can just skip the turn and then you can uh, go ahead and reimburse right here Move these over and you're gonna guarantee yourself another veteran game very very easy very simplistic one more thing to keep an eye on conquer 75 territories on or before the fifth turn I did not realize this was a thing, but do not worry. It does not matter. You don't have to go back and play everything. Don't be concerned if you don't get the 30k XP. You just have to go through strategically and nail every territory here on the hexagon or 75 of them within the first five turns on or before the fifth turn and you're gonna go ahead and get that done so the conquest is great there's 30k xp but make sure and do this with it because there's also missions for those silver cards the early banks right here there's one for uh, what other jobber uh, 76 overall eddie matthews there's one for david justice where you only got to get on base the money ball motto you just got to get on base three times and you're gonna earn 2000 xp there 2k 2k there's one for tom siever one for zach Britton, and those really add up again i was completing this after i got done with my gameplay xp i can no longer earn that but i still have conquest that's 30k and if you get all these things done at once that 30k is going to turn into more like you know, 45,000 XP, not even including gameplay as well. This is something I also highly recommend. The exchange is pretty juicy. You earn 10K XP right here, and if you've been stacking, saving up your common cards, not selling them, I was just able to go through, uh, for my commons, duplicates, and free agents, up to 65 overall bronze cards. That's all I had to exchange, and I got 10k XP for free right there, which again, significantly helped me out when I no longer was able to earn in-game XP through gameplay purposes. Events is also a good way to go. The event is pretty profitable right now, and you earn 2,000 XP per win. I do recommend this, you know, if you have everything done, or what I'm doing, I didn't play any events yesterday, but now that I have both the bosses done, sold them, again, this should be pretty clear. You wanna sell those cards right now, they're only gonna go down in price. Uh, I sold my first for about 90, 95,000. They're already down to 55, and the program has yet to be out for 24 hours. So sell them right now and buy them back in a few days, and you'll make profit on it, even if you get them like two, three, four, five days from now. You're still going to profit in total if you can just hold off the urge to use that 30, 20, 10 speed David Justice. I know he's so enticing to use, um, but events is good as well. You earn some more progress right there. Uh, the moments in the daily moments are okay you earn a little bit of xp if you haven't been grinding your ass off have sweat streaks on your chair and haven't you know kind of forgot what grass looks like so me within the last 24 hours on stream uh you're gonna want to go ahead and probably skip these and just stick with ball player again if you do not have a next generation console what I would recommend at that point is March to October. I do think if you don't have the benefit of blank canvas, your two best bets are either, you still wanna do conquest, you still wanna do uh, those missions with the silver cards right there, but MTO is probably easier on you if you do like all star difficulty. That's 80 to 100,000 XP after the gameplay, you know, the gameplay XP that you're gonna earn as well. About 100K in about five, six hours, I recommend all star difficulty again. So. I would do either that or do a ball player grind as a starting pitcher and then just do that on beginner you're gonna earn about 3k per start it takes about 7 10 minutes i heard a couple people in my twitch chat say so those two things are going to be very good for you as well you can do this royals program it, it takes a little bit more time if you want to finish this out with the conquest with those other uh, silver card missions 
I think that's a good idea as well, but that's pretty much what you should do. I think if you preload MTO, that's always the best way to earn XP, but if you did not have a chance to do that, do ball player if you're on next generation consoles and have the luxury of that uh, stadium creator to use blank canvas, but if you don't, then I do think that uh, March to October is very good. Again, we talked about that the other day. Use the best team. There's no sense in using the Reds, you know, sweating yourself out, struggling. Do not pick the Reds. Do not pick the Reds. I promise you, uh, whatever sense of pride and accomplishment you're going to get, do it for fun, I guess. But if you want to get this done fast, go with the big boys here. Go with a team like the, uh, the Mets, I think, are really good for this tense and purpose. And if you're looking for tips on pitching, sinkers inside, sliders, curveballs away. Or slurve balls, for that matter, too. Get Johnny the Zania. Get Jonathan the Wiseaga. That's going to help you out uh, really much. And that was able to just uh, cheese our way through an MTO run, which I think I only lost like two, three games the entire five, five and a half hour stint. So there you go. That is how to maximize your time and efficiently grind the spring cleanup program. Like I said, this one's going to last for about three weeks. There's going to be a brand new legend next time. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed this one, leave a like down below. Comment your XP that you guys have in the comment section right now. I want to see your progress. And yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. It comes out in E8.